If your Canadian visitor visa got rejected or even if your Canadian study visa got rejected and if you're planning to apply for a reconsideration, this is probably the video you will need to watch till the end. My name is Nilatri Mukherjee. I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. I practice here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. So if you're to apply for a reconsideration, there are a couple of things, fundamental aspect, if you will, that I would like you to keep in mind before you press the submit button. The first and foremost thing you have to understand is that reconsideration is not a legal request. A reapplication is. A reconsideration is say, is basically you are saying that your file was proper even then. There was an error in the decision making process and because of which the file got rejected. So you have to really prove your points very, very thoroughly, very, very meticulously without adding any additional document that you have not provided in the previous application. To ensure that your file is at least being looked at that is the most important thing so the first thing you have to keep in mind you cannot add a new documentary evidences it's something that's been already there you just have to refresh that you have to reprove that in the form of an explanation and obviously you can add as much supporting documents as you want which you have already provided in your previous application right so that's number one. Second thing you have to keep in mind is that the success rate the success rate of a reconsideration is very, very low, probably less than 5% or 10%. But it does not really mean that it's not worth trying. You can definitely try that if you feel it is worth. Now, it depends on the case to case whether you really want to go for a reconsideration or you would like to go for a reapplication directly. So I cannot really comment on that without knowing the specifics of your case. For that, a consultation would be useful. But generally speaking, probably there is no harm in applying for a reconsideration request if the visa got rejected because as of right now, as of March 2023, the rejection rate for any kind of visas, uh, any kind of temporary visas to Canada is literally astronomically high. And there are no dearth of examples where I see there is an error in the decision making process. So probably it's worthwhile to apply for a reconsideration if the situation demands. Thirdly, you have to keep in mind there is no cost for a reapplication. So, in other words, you do not have to pay any money to the government of Canada to apply for a reconsideration. If you're working with a professional, the professional will probably charge a professional services fee to help you with that, but there is no such government fee. Fourthly, a reconsideration, whether your file will at all be looked at or not, is depend really, really depends on how well. I would like to stress how well you are making your reconsideration request. And this is where the major problem lies. Because in majority of the cases, what I, you know, at least what I see is that there is a knee-jerk reaction from the clients and which is very, very normal human reaction is that the file got rejected and then you are immediately writing an email or maybe raising a web form asking to reconsider the decision. That's really not the way it works. You have to prove documentary evidences. You have to provide documentary evidences. You have to write your points properly. Importantly, if there is a possibility, add as much case laws. Case laws are super important. As Add as much case laws, if available, as possible to strengthen your application Take your time, take a couple of days, prepare a strong application and only then press the submit button. So there should not be any re knee-jerk reaction when it comes to reconsideration. And it depends a lot on the discretion of the officer, whether your file will be reconsidered or not, or most importantly, whether your file will be looked at or not. So if you would like to ensure that, yes, at least somebody looks into your file one more time, make sure you provide a strong reconsideration request uh, you know it has to be a strong submission letter or an explanation letter pro and you know supported by all the documentary evidences but not new documentary evidences the ones that you have already submitted at the time of you have submitted your previous application with updated things for example if you have submitted a bank statement uh, with sufficient proofs and the officer have rejected the file saying that well you do not have enough money maybe you want to provide last one year bank statement to prove that yes you had consistent amount of money in your bank account for the last one year things like that right you need to talk to you to see your thing to be able to guide you with a case specific situation but there should not be any new documentary evidences for example the bank account statement is something that we have already submitted in the past but you are submitting a new statement because obviously one month or two months or three months have passed right so you should have enough money at the time you have submitted your application and that you have enough money now as well. So you are showing a sort of consistency, but not any new document per se. So there are a lot of things uh, that goes into the reconsideration. So do not really jump on a reconsideration without really knowing whether this is worth to go for a reconsideration or not. And the success rate, no matter how strong your re uh, reconsideration request is, how well prepared that is, 
the success rate may not be very very high it it is very very disappointing but this is a reality that he, uh, you know we have to accept having said that if you are going for a reconsideration do your 100% give your 100% and make sure a very strong reconsideration request is being put forward if the situation demands if you would like me to uh, discuss your rejection case to be able to guide you whether you should go for a reapplication or a reconsideration or both come for a consultation i'll be more than happy to have a word with you to go through all your documents your rejection documents your previous every possible document to be able to tell you what should be your next step i hope this helps if you need me to consult you come for a consultation uh, you know hop into our website novonation.ca book a relevant consultation i'll be very happy to have a word with you to take it from there hope this helps guys see you guys in the next one bye now